what we give in the Balanced View Training is introduction to the nature of mind. And we share experience how we live a life from relying on open intelligence, what is open intelligence for us, and the practice. So to introduce yourself very directly to the nature of your mind, to the nature of everything that appears, stop thinking for a moment and recognize what remains. What remains when you stop thinking? There is an alertness, cognizance, the power to know. Okay? And then maybe after an instant, welcome, <laughs> new thoughts and emotions will come up. And they also appear in open intelligence. So you see everything can come up. <laughs> and then open intelligence, is, it's actually the basis of everything that we perceive. All our thoughts, emotions, sensations, experiences, people, places, things, time, space. Okay. And, and then all, all this, what I name now, we call it data, just to keep it very simple. Data appear in open intelligence. So the, all of our data appear at the basis of our intelligence. Our intelligence is the power to know, the power to know that we're thinking, that we're feeling. So that was just a direct introduction so you can recognize what is at the basis when you stop thinking, but also open intelligence doesn't leave you when you start thinking. Open intelligence is always present within us. It's, it's, um, it's so innate to us, it's so natural. It's, it's what looking through your eyes, what's listening to these words. That's, that's open intelligence. And to have an access to open intelligence, we share the practice in Balanced View, which is called short moments of open intelligence, repeated many times until it becomes continuous, until the recognition becomes so spontaneous. And what it means is that in a short moment, whenever you remember to take a short moment like that, you rely on open intelligence. You let everything be as it is. You let your thoughts, emotions, sensations, just to be as they are, without trying to manage them, control them in any way. Like, like you heard in the video from Candice, we always try to, I try to, rearrange the set of my data to be a positive one. So I can feel stable, so I can feel at ease, so I feel relaxed. You know, I went to, uh, initially I went to India just to, you know, find well-being and uh, to be in nature or to, to feel like um, I, I just want to travel all the time because I, I just feel so free when I, I'm traveling. So. What we discover when we rely on open intelligence that nothing needs to be done about our thoughts and emotions. We can leave them as they are for short moments. And when we repeat this recognition, what we come to see is that we have uh, an innate power to be of benefit. It's so natural for us to know what is of most benefit. For your question about um, benefit, <coughs> what will be of most benefit, it's something that comes so naturally when we rely on open intelligence, rather than focusing on what we think and feel all the time, we are relying on open intelligence. You see the difference? For me, it was whatever comes up, that's my focus. If I was angry, if I was jealous, if I, was, uh, if I felt I'm not good enough, so that's what I've seen. That's the only data I've seen, and that's the reality I had, and that's the identity I took myself to be. So with the introduction to open intelligence, I saw that I have a choice. I can rely on, on open intelligence and recognize what is at the basis of everything. I can relax completely and see that everything that appears also disappears. Okay? And now all the data are also inseparable from open intelligence. So there are no data that are better than others. Like I had the feeling that if I have data about um, like 
something bad I think about people, then I'm not a good person. You know, I'm so criticized, uh, criticizing people and I'm gossiping. And it's, it says something not good about myself. So I try to purify my thoughts and emotions by replacing them to positive ones or by trying to do good things for other people, so to feel good. And that was such an effort for me. And also, I felt like I'm always responsible. <laughs> you know, if I have like um, a huge uh, identity that I have to carry with me and always try to cultivate positive experiences in order to feel good in my life. Um, the practice is so direct. It's so instant. We can all experience right now whatever you feel like. For example, I didn't sleep at all well at night. It was the worst night ever. <laughs> and, you know, I can say so many things about it, but it was a really um, an opportunity for me to let it be as it is, you know. And also finding solution, like shouting to the neighbor that please <laughs> turn off the, <laughs> the volume a bit down and thank you. And, but also in a very... Um, discerning way, just finding solutions that are of most benefit, not feeling like a victim to it and indulging in my thoughts and emotion. Oh, it's the worst night. Tomorrow will be the worst day because I didn't sleep at night. It, it could be like that. But then relying on open intelligence, it gives that access to a beneficial qualities and activities, knowing what to do in every moment and also knowing what not to do <laughs> in every moment. You know, we have a natural discernment, natural clarity, and that's all, um, um, it's, 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 it's just uh, belongs to us. It's innate to every one of us. So when we stop indulging in our thoughts, descriptions, stories, what we open up in is, is to open intelligence, our own open intelligence. And what really made a difference in my life was the 12 empowerment training. And, and we share about it a lot because it's such a, a crucial training to really go into all the ideas, all the belief systems, everything that we've been cultivated over the years. I did my 12 empowerments 10 years ago. And it was such an opening for me to really see the dynamics in which I played out my data streams, data streams of expectations and blame and um, gossiping and avoiding relationships. So it opened up, it opens up for me the perspective to really recognize in myself the power to rely on open intelligence and together with the group, the support and the texts that evoke this recognition, it's, um, it just comes so obvious. It, come, it becomes so obvious and there are also tools that we receive to make direct changes in, in our lives. So for me, to see how in my relationship with myself, first of all, putting myself down, uh, thinking I'm not good enough, <coughs> changing my stream of data streams, you know, trying to change it to something positive, that's all changed due to that training of the 12 empowerments and having the support to really clarify everything that is up for me. What, is comes, what comes up for me and what do I used to do? <laughs> you know, I used to replace it, avoid it and indulge it. And now I let it be as it is and I get all the support to really let the data be as it is. And again, not being passive about what comes up, but opening up to the natural qualities, empowering my mind with open intelligence to see what will be of most benefit. And initially it looks like, okay, I always need to think about what is of most benefit. But then what we come to see is that benefit doesn't look in a certain way. You know, it's, it's completely responsive to what is needed. It can be uh, also nice, but it can be very fierce, very direct, you know, but it's always clear and always um, uh, supportive for everyone regardless of what we're thinking and feeling. And that was amazing discovery for me to see due to that training how I'm free of my 
thoughts, emotions, and sensations. I'm not anymore depended on what I'm thinking and feeling on or on relationships because I used to blame. I, I was not a bad person, okay? So it's not like it was really bad before. <laughs> and it, it, I, I really had a, a, an amazing life and I have very supportive family which I appreciate and I learned so much from them. And, but you know, like w once you do something and you recognize something about yourself that can deepen your assurance in, in your beneficial nature, in your own empowerment, then you can't go back. And that course does that. It, you, can, you can just can't reverse back to the belief of data streams, like taking them to be something, taking them to be your identity, the person you think you are. And it really opens up an entire perspective. And it's, it's really amazing. So since that web empowerment, in the video Candice was saying that, you know, that it's not like I, there are no pitfalls. <laughs> You're not like going like feeling stable and clear and suddenly you drop back into reification of the data. And you know what reification means? It's like making something into something real, thinking that it has power over you, thinking that it can control you like not sleeping at night or having a bad mood or a conversation with someone that you can't stop thinking about it or conversation with your mom that you feel like, oh, what will I say next time? So it's like you're not dropping back anymore to that terrifying perspective that you try to think <laughs> what will be the solution, but you're completely relaxed and open and clear to see what will be of most benefit. And, and it's, uh, it's such a, um, a powerful perspective because suddenly you see you're not anymore a victim to everything that comes up. Whether it's like, you know, you have all the reasons to be so angry. Maybe you had a very horrible life. Uh, you know, it can be abuse, it can be, and it, there's so many of us here, each one of us has their own stories. And you might have very strong reasons to feel what you feel now and to be the person that you think you are now. But then how fresh it is to let yourself be as you are, you know, to be completely open to the gifts of what you can contribute to the benefit of all and not always being kind of a prison of your thoughts and emotions because that's what I felt that I'm always like speaking from what I'm feeling, speaking from what I'm thinking and there is no an open perspective which I really wanted to have. So decision making for example was something that was so um, confusing for me. Uh, and, I, and that was one of the things that opened up in the 12 empowerments, decision making, because that was such a process that even the smallest thing, like what to eat <laughs> or what, I don't know, t-shirt to buy, you know, like something that doesn't really matter was so confusing, like what people will think about me, if I will eat this or that, will I gain weight, maybe I need to eat less, you know, everything that comes, body image and then expectations, all of these things and then to see that I can make decisions from open intelligence. It's like it's not relying on my thoughts and feelings. It's amazing. It doesn't rely on what I'm thinking and feeling. Okay, so probably you think, okay, so what, how can we really make the decision? So the invitation here is to test it, to really see in your own experience, to open up to the instinctive recognition Instinctive, you know, instinctive is something that it goes beyond what we think or feel, but it's so strong. It's like something in us just open up, it evoked 